So here I am going to discuss about how to distinguish between primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. So here we will discuss about distinction between primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. Generally, the following tests are used to distinguish between primary, secondary, tertiary alcohols. That tests are first one Lucas test, second one Victor Mayer's test. Victor Mayer's test. So here first one Lucas test. In this test, alcohols are treated with a Lucas reagent. That Lucas reagent is anhydrous zinc chloride in concentrated HCl. This alcohol or the three types of alcohols undergo this reaction at different rates. When this alcohol react with, uh, reacted with this Lucas reagent, there is a formation of alkyl, alkyl chloride, alkyl chloride. The different types of alcohols or the three types of alcohols undergo this reaction at different rates. Tertiary alcohols react with Lucas reagent very rapidly. Secondary alcohols react somewhat slower. Primary alcohol do not react with Lucas reagent at room temperature. So the order of reactivity of different alcohol towards Lucas reagent is primary alcohol is less reactive than secondary alcohol. This secondary alcohol is less reactive than tertiary alcohol. Simply we can say that tertiary alcohols undergo uh, reaction with this Lucas reagent very quickly. Here this tertiary or allylic and benzylic alcohols also uh, react with this uh, Lucas reagent very quickly. So here we consider these examples. Here this is a uh, primary alcohol CH3, CH2, OH that do not undergo reaction with this Lucas reagent at room temperature. Here this is secondary alcohol, secondary alcohol that is uh, buten uh, 2 old, buten uh, 2 old. It's a secondary alcohol that will uh, react with uh, anhydrous zinc chloride and HCl that is Lucas reagent. We get a, uh, we get 2 chlorobutane. That, that 2 chlorobutane uh, appears in the form of a turbidity after uh, some time. Then the tertiary alcohol that is this one uh, 2 methyl propane 2 volt 2 methyl propane 2 volt undergo reaction with this Lucas reagent uh, there is a formation of turbidity immediate turbidity immediate turbidity this immediate turbidity means uh, by me, uh, by the presence of uh, 2 chloro 2 chloro 2 methyl propane 2 chloro 2 methyl propane so immediate turbidity appears in the case of this tertiary alcohol and here in, in the case of secondary alcohol turbidity appears but that uh, the appearance of turbidity generally gets after some time or within 5 minutes then so primary alcohol do not react with this uh, Lucas reagent at room temperature at room temperature so this is one of the tests used for the uh, distinction uh, dis used for distingu uh, distinguishing primary secondary and tertiary alcohols primary secondary and tertiary next Victor Mayer's test. Victor Mayer's test. Victor Mayer's test is based on the difference in behavior of nitroalkanes that are derived from primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols towards nitrous acid. This Victor Mayer's test involves the following steps. In first step. The alcohol is treated with red phosphorus and iodine. Then that reaction results an 
alkyl halide so in first step reaction with uh, alcohol uh, uh, reaction with red phosphorus and iodine uh, it will form alkyl iodide alkyl iodide iodide alkyl iodide then the second step the uh, alkyl iodide alkyl iodide formed with the first step is then reacted with alcoholic silver nitrate alcoholic silver nitrate agno2 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 silver nitrate nitrate silver nitrate solution then there is a formation of nitro alkane there is a formation of nitro alkane then third step the nit the formed nitro alkane is then reacted with nitrous acid then reacted with nitrous acid and followed the resulting solution and followed the resulting solution is treated with uh, aqueous alkali that is aqueous NaOH or aqueous KaOH if we get a blood red color solution then we uh, can understand uh, we uh, can understand that the um, alcohol is a primary alcohol if we get a blue color precipitate or uh, sorry if we get a blue coloration then it is a secondary alcohol then if the solution is colorless then the original alcohol is tertiary so the chemistry involved in the test summarized uh, in the form of the equations so you can here see you can see that is the uh, different uh, alcohols primary secondary and tertiary alcohols uh, react with this uh, Victor uh, Maze uh, reagents so here first one this alkyl halide uh, sorry uh, primary alcohol undergo uh, uh, sorry alcohol undergo reaction with red phosphorus red phosphorus and iodine red phosphorus and iodine we can get an alkyl iodide we get an alkyl iodide then then uh, that alkyl iodide is treated with silver nitrite agno2 then it will uh, uh, results in nitro alkyl nitro alkyl this nitro alkyl then reacted with uh, nitrous acid nitrous acid means hno2 this nitrous acid is generally produced by treatment with sodium nitrite nano2 plus hcl we get N hno2 this nitrous acid so the formed nitro alkane is reacted with nitrous acid we get a nitrolic acid we get a nitrolic acid in the case of primary alcohol we get a nitrolic acid then followed by a reaction with this aqueous alkali we get a blood red color in the case of primary alcohol the similar uh, reaction steps are involved in the secondary alcohols also but the last step we get a blue color blue color because uh, the nitro alkane uh, react the sec uh, nitro alkane derived from this secondary alcohol uh, is reacted with the nitrous acid we get a pseudo nitro this is pseudo nitro this pseudo nitro is react with al uh, aqueous al uh, aqueous alkali uh, that means aqueous NaOH or aqueous uh, KOH we get a blue color but here in the case of tertiary alcohol uh, this uh, nitro alkane does not uh, nitro alkane that is derived from this tertiary alcohol do not react with uh, this nitrous acid so we get uh, no reaction or no uh, color or we get a colorless solution so uh, this test is also used for distinguishing primary secondary and tertiary alcohols if we get a um, if we get if we get uh, a blood color solution is pursued if we get a red color then uh, we can understand that the original alcohol is primary uh, then if we get a blue color then we can understand that that or, uh, original alcohol is a secondary alcohol if the solution the final solution is colorless then we can understand that that original alcohol is tertiary so this test is also used for uh, distinguishing primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol. Tertiary alcohol.